In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make millions with the hanger business. I'm also going to show you guys which hanger to buy. And then I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks to make even more money with the hanger business. And right before we get into it, make sure you guys do like and subscribe. But really, let's just get right into it. All right. So if you don't already have a hanger, this is actually fine because they're actually discounted this week. So open up your phone, go to Internet, go to money and services and then go to foreclosure bank. And then from here, set the filter so it only shows the hangers. Now, there's two you can get an LSIA and then the other three are in the military base. Now, the ones at the military base do cost more. But the good thing about that is if you get that, you can go into the military base whenever you want and you'll never get cops on you so it's up to you which one you want but anyways once you got your hangar business you want to go inside of here now if you're ever thinking of getting any plays in GTA 5 then you're gonna need a hangar to store them so you probably want to have a hangar all right so go ahead and go over to your laptop now when you're here there's an overview there's a source and there's a sell option so as you guys can see there is a lot of different things that you can source now the three that i would focus on would be animal materials arts and antiques and jewelry and gemstones so the reason for that is for the three that i just named if you get to 10 crates for each of them you'll actually get a 12 percent bonus on how much money you get whereas the other ones don't do that so that's why i only focus on those three but anyways go ahead and start a mission now you can use any planes or helicopters that you have in your hangar that you own for all these missions and every mission you do they'll actually spawn a plane for you that you can use for that mission. So sometimes depending on the mission it's actually good to take the planes that they give you and sometimes it's better to just like use the oppressor that you have yourself. So for example for some missions you're going to need to have a lot of rockets and if you're using the oppressor you're going to run out. So that would be a time that would be better to use their plane instead. And also the good thing about using the plane that the game gives you is every time you get a different plane and you can test them out and then if you like them, you can buy them for yourself. And some of them are actually really, really fun to fly. But basically for this mission, we have to take out a bunch of jets. And then after you take all them out, the crate will actually spawn in the air and then it will slowly go down. But you can actually catch it in the air with your plane. And so we dropped it off. It only took us a few minutes to do. And as you guys can see, just doing one mission for a few minutes gets you 45k this week because they are 1.5 money. So you can easily make $3 million a day doing this. Because remember, you'll be getting around 45k for each mission. And then once you hit 10 crates, you'll get a 12% bonus as well. So here's another mission that I was doing. This one, the plane that I got was actually really, really fun to use. So this plane was way faster than the oppressor, which is kind of the reason why I used it instead. And so basically for this one, we had to go uh, destroy a base. And then once we took all the vehicles out, we would get the crate. And we deliver it back and we're done the mission. So as you guys can see, the missions are actually quite easy. Now I'm not going to wait for uh, my stock to go up to 10 crates just because I wanted to get this video out. But usually I would wait for it to go up to 10 crates. So as we can see, we can sell all the crates for 405k. Now remember, I was doing this in a solo lobby. But if you do it in a public lobby, then you get a 2% bonus for every player that you have in your lobby. So if you have 30 players, which is a full lobby, you'll get an extra 60%. So basically that would mean you're making around 600K. Now I say it's only good to do it in a public lobby if you have friends protecting you, because if you don't, it's actually pretty easy to die. So that's why I usually do them in a solo public session. But if you want to do it in a public one, you can. But anyways, the sell machine was actually quite easy. You had five crates that you had to deliver. And then after dropping off one, you'll get some choppers on you, but it doesn't really matter. They don't really do anything. And then once you deliver all five crates, you can get out the plane and finish the mission there. Or you can take the plane back to the hangar to get extra RP. So I did do that, but if you guys don't want to, that's fine as well. And just like that, we got 400k. So the hangar business is actually super, super easy. So make sure you guys go ahead and grind it out this week. But really guys, make sure you guys do help me out by dropping a like. And I'll see you guys in the next one.